Hey there, y'all. Welcome to Yakety Mac After Dark. <laughs> I know that sounds like really kind of sketchy, right? You're like, whoa, 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 pal. But no, seriously, it's like, it's after dark. Um, guys, I am making this video literally for an audience of one. Hang out for just a second and let me explain. Eight months ago, when I decided to start posting YouTube videos, I had two goals. One was just to be stupid, be creative, have some fun. Uh, and the second goal was to try to help people like when I do product reviews or uh, modifications or something, I try to put out content that has some value so that someone like me who doesn't know how to do a whole lot can go on and find out the information that they're looking for and hopefully, hopefully I'm able to help in some way. So this is an extension of that. You know, I get asked some questions sometimes and for the most part, a simple typed in response through the website, uh, you know, through YouTube works out just fine. But sometimes some people will ask me some questions that I'm like, man, I really wish I could just talk to that person. And so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I'm literally making this video for an audience of one. I'm not going to hashtag it. It's not to get views or anything. Now, look, you all are welcome to stick around, hear the question that's being asked, hear my response, offer, uh, offer up your two cents if you want to, by all means. Yes. But, um, I'm actually just making this for you, Granville J. So with that being said, let's get started. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to call you J throughout the duration of this. I don't know what your name is. Uh, I'm just trying to guess from the username here. So, so J, I understand that you are kind of in the beginning stages of thinking about getting into some kayak bass fishing. And it sounds like you, you, you are interested in tournaments as well. You are where I was about two and a half years ago. Um, I had decided that, man, this looks kind of cool. I think I want to do this. Um, so I started looking into kayaks and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then I bought two years ago, um, the old town that you've seen in my videos now, and that, that became my fishing platform. And so I have been where you, uh, where you are, and I know you're hoping to, to, to make a purchase by the end of this year and get started in it. And I think that's awesome. And I hope you do that. So the first question is, um, what were your first fishing setups? Jay, literally I had one, <laughs> one fishing setup uh, up until about six or seven months ago, I had one fishing setup and that was top water. Every single time out, that was the only thing that I would throw, whether it be a popper, a whopper plopper, a walking bait, I was throwing top water. I would go out for about four to six hours in a day, and that was it. And there's two reasons why. Uh, well, all right, so maybe three. One, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> okay, I still don't. Two is is it was easy. Um, I could see the bait, so I would throw it structure. I would throw it twigs, logs, you know, whatever it might be, grass. Uh, I could see. I could see it land in the water. I could see where it was at because it's floating on top and I could see a fish hit it. So I, a bite was pretty obvious, uh, you know, when, when the water blows up all around your bait. So, so that was kind of a comfort zone. It's, it was a beginner bait, if you will. And, and I don't mean to say that top water is a beginner bait because it's still my favorite and it's, it's freaking awesome. Uh, there's just nothing like a top water blow up but it was the easiest for me. Plus I didn't have to worry about getting hung up because it's floating on top of the water. And that would really be the reason number three, I could avoid snags. I could avoid getting hung up. The bait wasn't, you know, running down three or four feet into the water and then getting caught on something that I couldn't even see. Um, so that was the main reason. It didn't take me long to realize though, that I had to become more versatile because while top water is fun and it's awesome, it isn't always on. And so there were quite a few times that I would go out and, and come back with nothing, you know, just no fish. Oh, you know, what'd you catch today, sweetie? Uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, that happened way too often. So I had to become more versatile and I wanted to get involved in tournaments, man. You know, I really love that whole idea of competing and stuff. So. Um, I started making this video series, one that actually you, you commented on, uh, you know, called learning to fish where I'm asking people, Hey guys, give me some pointers here. And a lot of people did, and I'm so grateful. And so, you know, uh, about six or seven months ago, I'm like, okay, let me, let me try some soft plastics. Uh, let me try 
uh, you know, well, actually, that's kind of about it. I mean, I've done some like swim baits and, and that kind of stuff. But um, one thing that I will say is that there is information overload out there, man. Um, and I don't go to YouTube first when I'm looking at different types of fishing techniques. Um, it usually starts with a Google search for me. Um, like for instance, in this last tournament that I just fished, I threw a toad, first time ever. How that started was, is I knew I was gonna be going to a lake with a lot of lily pads and vegetation. So I got on Google and I said, best lures for working lily pads. And an article come up, I think from Wired to Fish, about toads. I'm like, hmm, what are these, what are these toad things you speak of? So I started reading on this article and I'm like, okay, this sounds interesting. So then I go to YouTube and I start researching things about toads. How do you rig a toad? How do you throw a toad? What's the best toad? So on and so forth. Um, because if you just go and try to absorb all of these different styles, it can be really overwhelming. I still don't know what a Ned rig is. I don't know. <laughs> and I, I don't have time for that right now. Maybe I will get to it. Maybe I should be getting to it. But right now, I, I just don't have time for that. You know, it's, it's baby steps uh, for me. And, and I've been, you know, trying to learn new techniques now for, you know, six or seven months. And so uh, that's my advice. Uh, you know, maybe you have more capacity up in your noggin than I got going on here. But really, it's just too much information overload. And YouTube is just full of clickbait stuff. You'll never rig this the same. You'll never tie that the same. You'll never eat the same, whatever it is. It's just a lot of it's just clickbait stuff. And, and so I try to sort that out before I even get to YouTube. All right. And then the second question, and this is a tough one, man. I've been thinking about this, Jay, is um, what was going on inside your head in your first kayak tournament? Um, anxiety is probably the thing that that i would say um was going on uh more than anything else and you know believe it or not um i'm like a really bashful person um i uh until i get to know someone or until i'm in front of an inanimate object uh, i'm very bashful uh and so i had a lot of anxiety about this group of guys who are probably really good and I'm not and and you know what are they going to think of me and and so I actually thought more about that than I actually did my strategy I, I didn't even know the body of water that I was going to so I didn't even have a strategy my strategy pretty much every time out is you know see a piece of cover throw at it um, I mean that's that's pretty much my strategy right now and so um that's what was going through my head. I knew I wasn't going to be competitive. I think I set a goal to, to, to put two or maybe three. I don't remember what my goal was uh, in my first tournament uh, that I wanted to, to, to weigh in or measure in. Um, I didn't hit it. I only caught the one fish um, and it was like barely met the minimum requirement. Um, but I knew after that tournament that I was in trouble from uh, from an aspect of I was only throwing top water and I knew I, I was never going to be competitive with just that. You know, yes, it's fun. Yes, I still do it a lot, um, but I was never going to be competitive that way. So um, that's kind of what was going through my mind. When I'm on the water, it felt like any other kind of day of fishing, although as the hours went by and I wasn't catching and I knew the other guys probably were um I was getting kind of disappointed if you will I uh you know I have a, a very competitive spirit and and I've got about that much patience um you know and so I want to I want to get there and I want to get there now I want to you know I, I mean hell look I, this is my what my third or fourth tournament now and I'm already angry that I'm not competitive so and I know it's unrealistic but it is what it is. So, so Jay, man, I hope this, uh, I hope this answered the questions. I hope you take the leap, man, and, and, and get you the kayak, uh, get out and, and, and get involved and, and don't wait until you feel like you're ready to get into the tournaments. Just do it, man. And here's what I have discovered since I have started doing it. The guys, man, they're all so helpful. They'll tell you anything. I had a guy at the last tournament, um, give me a crankbait that he wanted me to try right 
he's like, hey, this is a really good crankbait. Here's how you work it. Take this with you, tie it on the day. If you lose it, no big deal. If you bring it back, just give it back to me at the end of the tournament. So what you don't know, others are really uh, willing to teach you. Um, so jump in, man. Don't wait till you're ready. Don't feel like you're, you're, you know, you're going to be mocked or, or something of that sort. You're not. Yes, they're going to take your money. <laughs> they take my money. Um, but that's all right, man. That's cool. It's just money, right? Jay, I appreciate you asking the question. I hope I've, uh, hope I've answered it for you. Uh, you have inspired a whole new possible uh, uh, spinoff, if you will, with the Yakety Mac After Dark. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Talk to you later.